Hi, I'm Nathan Ward and I'm going to show you a few applications of wireless wearable accelerometers. I'm wearing a wireless sensor system we designed at Cornell University with four tri-axis accelerometers attached to my hands and feet that track my motion and stream the data to my computer. This real-time information can be processed in various manners to extract inclination and orientation when the accelerometers are not moving and detect movements and gestures when in motion. The computer here is graphing the raw x, y, and z axes of each accelerometer in red, green, and blue, and the total acceleration in black. When the accelerometers aren't moving very much, it's easy to see the effect of gravity. As I slowly rotate my hands, the values for each axis vary, but the total acceleration stays at about 1 g. With a little trigonometry, we can use gravity to determine orientation in three-dimensional space by calculating angles referred to as pitch, roll, and yaw for rotation about these three axes. Now for an example of a recognized gesture, here the computer performs an action when it recognizes both hands in the thumb up orientation, followed by an outward movement. This example uses the straightforward method of getting a computer to recognize gestures by programming them in yourself. I constructed a large map of two-handed gestures by using orientations followed by movements. If each hand is divided into six different orientations, followed by six different directions of movement, the combinations quickly accumulate into thousands of gestures, which is usually overkill, but really demonstrates the capacity of using simple gestures to interact with your computer. However, because the design process becomes more involved when complex gestures are desired, a more sophisticated approach is sometimes warranted. By utilizing machine learning techniques, we can actually teach the computer a set of gestures, which is what I'm doing right now by drawing the numbers 0 through 4 in the air. After I input these gestures into a hidden Markov model, it is then able to analyze new movements and detect which gesture I performed, as you can see here that any number I draw in the air is detected and displayed on screen. For a practical example of this technology in computing applications, I can teach the computer a few gestures associated with actions go right, go left, and switch applications. Now I can perform the switch application gesture to start PowerPoint and use my left and right gestures to navigate through the presentation. There are many applications of this technology, including using one's body as an instrument to translate dance into music, or even as an alternate game controller, so feel free to take a look at our other demonstration videos. Thank you.